Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So very uh, kind of interesting end to the FOMC session yesterday where pretty much the statement, although it was kind of dovish, it wasn't as dovish as some traders were expecting. Now there was some acknowledgement of the rest of the market turmoil, but there was it wasn't really what they said, it's what they didn't say. So as far as the Fed is still concerned right now, they still think they're going to have their, those four rate hikes because they didn't even um, mention them at all in their statement. That's four rate hikes in 2016. So the actual market itself is kind of pricing in two rate hikes, probably starting in the um, starting again, sorry, in the second half of the year. So we're not really expecting anything uh, for the first six months of, uh, of 2016. Now. Equity market sold off because some traders were like the FOMC are kind of burrowing their head in the sand a little bit. Um, they're not being quite active in dealing with the problem. You have Mario Draghi on one end and he's like, there'll be no limits to what the ECB are, uh, are willing to do to support the Eurozone economy. And then you've got the FOMC kind of saying, well, you know, things are not so great in the parts of the world. We are acknowledging that some of our uh, macro data uh, results might not be as strong as expected, but it's kind of business as usual because the, uh, the rate hikes are data dependent as ever. So um, equity markets kind of sold off, not really that aggressively, but they were, they were definitely off the, their session highs. And interestingly, we saw some big moves in crude uh, yes, the crude actually finishing up more than 5% higher. And what's kind of interesting is when you've had a slight decoupling, so you've had crude going up and stock, stocks going down, and uh, all sorts of talk about exactly what that is. Uh, kind of Russian oil companies rumored to be buying up lots and lots of oil, um, that this move yesterday is going to be short lived. But when we look at things from a technical perspective, it'll give you a bit of a flavor about where we are. We're actually about 21% off the bottom of the, uh, of the crude oil market. So some traders undoubtedly have been very, very lucky, the ones that bought in at the bottom. Uh, and right now, I think there's so much volatility that some traders are just staying away from crude because it's just kind of savage to trade it right now. If it's got 5% swings, that, that's a big move, especially if you're trading using CFDs and spread betting, et cetera. So uh, let's have a look at things from a technical perspective. And as ever, we're going to start off with the US 30 just to uh, kickstart things off. Okay, so this is currently where we are. Now I'm probably going to re redraw that and bring that to here. Uh, and that gives us a level there of 15,904. 75% uh, of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. And the reason I've brought it to here is you can just see that from a candlestick perspective, it seems to um, be enjoying this level a little bit more, oscillating around there. Now, we have been lower than where we are this morning, first thing. We were actually below 15,904, but right now we're at the top end of the range, far away from the top end of the range that we had yesterday, um, just before the FOMC came out. So from a technical perspective, um, the technicals are the indicators are pointing to be have more bullish momentum. The fact that we're rejecting these session lows can be kind of interesting, but and we are making a series of kind of higher highs right here. But we don't really want to see candles like this if we're looking to get further upwards momentum. But we are already at the up end of that trend. So having a quick look at the UK 100. And in fact, let me just quickly go to here for, for a quick second. Uh, what you can see, and I'm just going to go ahead and just draw some uh, technical patterns on here just to kickstart things off. Um, you are going to be looking at the level right here. Uh, you have the tip here. And arguably, in the very, very short term, you are looking at these levels right here. So this is this is the, what most traders are be looking at. Run about 6,000 uh, and, and change the tips of these candles. We tried to break above there last night only to have a rejection. We're almost back there just now. If we broke back through 6,000 uh, and change, the next potential resistance is all the way back at 6,300. Uh, so it has some significant moves. If we have a failure to break through and we get a retreat back down, you could be looking at 58.65 in that regard. The other technicals are relatively neutral at, at the moment. And we do have 61% of CMC Marcus current uh, clients are currently uh, long. So moving on to Japan 225. And from the Japan 225 perspective, uh, we are seeing things um, kind of go up to the upside again, get my drawing tools out. There are certain kind of key levels here. You're obviously going to go ahead and, and, and take the tips from down here. Uh, and when you look at things from this pers perspective, you also have to uh, probably take the tip of this candle right here. And you can just kind of see where we have been the last number of sessions. It's broken up through it, then pushed back down. We're having another retest to try and break through that level just now. Be interesting to see if we follow up that, with that much conviction. 
then arguably you could go ahead and take the tips from here. Uh, the tip of this candle could provide that next level of potential resistance around about 17,675. Now we do currently have 65% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Uh, so they're obviously expecting a little bit more pain to be had on the Japanese market. Now, if we have a look at uh, US dollar Japanese yen, uh, we're gonna be kind of building this up from scratch again as well. Uh, looking at things from a longer term perspective, we have been moving in the sideways move market for some time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some of our support and resistance levels on there. So you would take the tip from there. You'd also have your potential resistance right here. And then look at things from a slightly shorter term perspective. You do kind of look at these levels here and you can see some very interesting patterns just slowly evolving over time. And where we are right now, we're, we're actually above 118. So what would be interesting for us to do is you take this area here and that means we've still got a long way. So if we, if we do begin to see upwards momentum, you are looking at 120 as being the next potential resistance and we're on the right side of 118 and change at the moment as well. Okay, and 64% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, again, building this up from scratch. Um, you can just see where we've come from. As a matter of fact, when you scroll out, you can just really see the severity of that move. So uh, that, in fact, I think we have to go on to a monthly chart uh, to really appreciate some of the moves on here. Uh, and this is uh, where we are at the moment. Uh, right, so get my drawing tools out there. Uh, you'd be taking this tip here. Uh, you'd be arguably looking at this level here and then the levels below that, which we'll come back to in a second. In the short term, you can take that tip as well and this tip. Okay, let's cycle into that shorter time frame and get a chance to have a proper look of where we are. So in the middle of two ranges, arguably, I think we can add another level right here. Uh, where you've had a tip of this candle on the downside and you've got evidence of a failure to break through 31 spot 40. 68% of CMC Marcus clients are currently uh, short on this as well. And that's probably look, looking at this potential resistance level that could be kind of interesting. Um, if, it, if it begins to break above that, you could be looking at a move back towards 35, though you probably look at the tips of these candles down here as the next potential level move, $34. So if we finish up with gold and the FX pairs, Again, stripping this back and having a look at this from a basic technical perspective, we'll just look at some of the core levels here. We had a nice little technical break above here. Uh, our next potential uh, resistance level actually is quite far away. It's kind, of, it's kind of hard to be able to pick another level. You could, you could take some of these tips here, but they're not even really that strong. Uh, I am gonna put a level here. Uh, to be honest, I think when you're looking at this from a daily perspective, you, you kind of have to look at things in, in a much further away place. Yeah, I think we could look here. You could look at this tip here. Uh, that could be your next potential level, around about 1,131. Uh, in fact, that is a strategic level to be, to be aware of. We are trading between two ranges right now. This is a bearish, uh, bearish engulfing pattern. 74% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long. And then we've had, if we finish up with your dollar and GBP USD. Uh, so your dollar again. Uh, I think we're pretty much still in this descending triangle formation that we've talked about. Uh, I'm just going to quickly manually draw this on here and see see what it looks like. It's not, it, oh, yeah, to be honest, it still is very much in, in that uh, kind of symmetric. Uh, I think I've drawn this as a symmetrical triangle formation, as a descending triangle formation before. Um, but you can easily get away uh, with that being a, a symmetrical triangle formation now as well, which means it's not necessarily going to be a continuation pattern. It can, of course, be, um, uh, it could break out either, either direction. In fact, the more I look at this, the more that, that you, you could probably could easily argue this is a, a symmetrical triangle formation. So we're waiting for a break on this side or a break on this side. And the euro dollar um, continue, we have talked about one spot zero weight a lot. Uh, and, even if we just look at some of these levels, I think this is why we considered it being a descending triangle formation before in the past, is because you can probably take these levels. In fact, you definitely can take those levels as being potential support. So that's currently where we are. 57% of CMC Marsh clients are currently long, and we're in the middle of that triangle right now. And we finish up with GBP USD. 59% of CMC Marsh clients are currently short. Um, you, your cable has just been getting smashed as ever. I'm going to quickly go into weekly perspective to see if I can get these levels drawn on here. 
And you can, it just gives you an idea about how low we are. This is 2008, by the way. So again, get your drawing tools out. Uh, you have been as low as here. Uh, you have not closed below this level since 2010. Uh, and interestingly, there's been a rejection of those levels on, on the downside. Uh, matter of fact, cable has been working very, very nicely uh, for some of these technical levels for, for some time. Here it's been a bit harder because obviously we had the breaks, we had the breakout through there and it didn't really follow through and you would take this area right here. So that's pretty much the major levels uh, on the weekly standpoint. Let's cycle into the daily just so we can see exactly where we are and then I arguably I take the tip of this candle and say one spot 43.51 is potential resistance, one spot 42.20 is potential support and we're just a little bit off that range right now. So that hopefully gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect. So just to finish up with some economic data uh, announcements, we still have the Bank of Japan on Friday. Um, we do have uh, UK GDP today, uh, CCI from the um, Eurozone, uh, CCI, uh, CPI sorry, from Germany, durable goods and employment data from the US. Friday brings us uh, CPI, US GDP, and the Consumer uh, Sentiment Survey, University of Michigan Sentiment Index, and you also have the Bank of Japan there as well. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, it's been quite interesting for you to see us building up the charts there from scratch. And uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much, and goodbye.